Good morning, folks. We've got space weather on the horizon. Today is the day the Quake Watch is most likely to kick in, and we've got a note for those still missing the beta version of our app. But we began over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding the last 24 hours on our star couldn't have been much calmer. No eruptions, no solar flares. We actually only have one tiny little sunspot. The solar wind is calm as well, but I expect the phi angle to begin fluctuating soon on the next incoming coronal hole, so enjoy the low KP index while we can. Speaking of coronal holes, here they are. It's clear that the larger mass of the opening will begin facing Earth tonight. Fast solar wind arriving two to four days later. Couple news articles to share this morning. This is NASA's new CO2 model. Hopefully it will explain why the temperatures of Earth sat still during the largest carbon release period on record. Also, they've started ruining their animation videos like The Lift and everyone else online with these enormous blocks of wording that only ruin what you're trying to watch. Up next, interesting article about earthquakes and fault memory. They've added some notes about Cascadia and the San Andreas Fault in there as well. Very interesting. Up next, yet another animation ruined with these block letter overlays. Seriously wish that would stop. But the movement of ice is of focus now because the idea you've heard in both our private and public videos probably is right. The polar regions get no sun in the winter and will refreeze no matter what. The only question is how many icebergs or freshwater cold melt will chill the summer waters to be more easily frozen next time. Did you know most of those failing models have Antarctic sea ice as a static ice block over millennia? No wonder we've got 20 years of failed temperature predictions. Anyway, footage is finally making its way to the internet from some of the worst of the cyclone that hit India. Damage is significant and about a dozen people lost their lives. But the cleanup begins along with their resolve. Folks, if you were a Kickstarter founder of the Disaster Prediction app, I've gone in and looked and every email went out. Those who said they didn't get it, it has come again. The last few of you, we've determined that it was your spam settings blocking our computer-generated emails, so our developer sent you one from his personal account, Mike Fogg. If you deleted or ignored that one, you shouldn't have. He is the primary developer at Arctic Labs. If you deleted it or are just lost in this whole process, let's get on board here, guys. Email ben at observatoryproject.com with your email, device you're going to use, and if it's Apple, include your Apple ID. Right now, we've got your pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.